Hi, my name is Andrea. Ever since I started racing bikes in 2006, I've always looked for the next challenge, the next hardest thing. Earlier this year, I decided that would be the Tour Divide. This is my journey to get there. It won't always be your stereotypical, feel-good, inspirational story. I'm not always smiling. I can't even say if I'll make it to the start or not, because sometimes life happens. What I can say is that if the impossible happens, if training goes perfectly, if the weather is just right, if all goes according to plan, it's going to be one hell of a race. Hey everyone, uh, I wanted to start out by saying thanks to everyone who has subscribed and who uh, hits the thumbs up button on all my videos. I really appreciate your support and uh, if you could just give me a share, you know, if you share links to videos uh, with your friends, with people who sponsor people who do Tour Divide with anything like that. Um, even if no one ever listens to you, I appreciate any shares, likes, whatever. Um, so please just keep it up. Um, also, on my next video, I'd like to do a little Q&A and I'd like to make it a regular part all the way up until Tour Divide. Q&A can be anything. So bike setup, bike related stuff, training, whatever. It can also be totally unrelated to any of that. Um, questions about chickens. Whatever. Uh, it doesn't matter. Ask me anything in the comments on this video. And in an upcoming video, I will answer those questions. Within reason. <laughs> or do my best. Uh, so this video today is um, test number one of my axis shifting. I wanted to see how it would handle some slushy, muddy sandy stuff. Um, so you'll get to see a little bit of that. Um, I also got a little bit of kind of deep thoughts and uh, been a little burnt out with my job lately and I'm really hoping that um, you know I can just find some um, you know some balance between work and outside of work. Uh, so I talk a little bit about that. Uh, talk about uh, how much I like where I live, uh, you'll get to see it. Just... Thanks, Tiny. Uh, you know, you'll, you'll see it in the video. Uh, also, some really nice scenery. Um, you know, when you have long rides like that, you get a lot of time in your, own, in your own head. So, I embrace that, and, you know, normally I feel better by the time I'm finished. Tiny wants to be star of this. One more time. Good boy. Axis torture test number one. And it's time for another voiceover. So on this ride, I got to this really uh, sloppy, slushy, muddy section of road and I almost turned around. But then I decided I should kind of put the axis through its paces as far as what it can do when the drivetrain just gets coated in stuff that's freezing and sandy and wet and dirty, uh, just kind of adverse conditions. So uh, what I did was just took it on an out and back until I got to a place where I just couldn't ride anymore because the snow was kind of deep and slippery. Uh, it did great, you know, it, the chain definitely got dry and made a bunch of noise but uh, pretty much when you have robots on your bike, whether it is Axis or DI2, when you push the button, the derailleur goes to its spot, whether or not uh, other stuff is coated in gunk. So it worked really, really well. Um, here it's shifting under load, did fine. Uh, I think you might be able to break your chain a little easier if you really, really neglected your chain, um, just because the derailleur is so powerful. Um, but, you know, it did great, it was accurate, never got hung up between gears, uh, never went out of adjustment, was really, really happy with it. Um, this was soupy mud, this was not sticky peanut butter mud. Uh, that peanut butter mud that sticks to everything, that just it needs a single speed, so, you know, if that were the case, I'd pick my bike up and carry it, because you'll break any derailleur off in those conditions. Uh, but yeah, I was super, super happy with it. Uh, went home and moved my chain. Everything was quiet and ran perfectly afterwards.
you know, I really try to have gratitude for things like this. This road that's a few miles from my house that just goes up, uh, I mean, I guess I'm probably like close to four miles up from the highway now. It's turned into unmaintained stuff where someone just drove something with something heavy with tire chains on and packed it in and just happened to be able to ride on it and it's stuff like this that keeps me going because my other option is move to a city that I hate I hate being in the city and you know getting a job that pays the same or more than what I make now that maybe I can tolerate a little more but just really burnt out on my situation inside of work, not outside of work. I really love everything else right now. I'm really thankful that I've got this awesome place to train and get ready for such an awesome race. I really didn't mean to rhyme just then. That was cheesy as fuck. Made my way up until I reached a gate. And now it's time to go down and hopefully not eat the shit. Woo! <laughs> 